a self-trained genius is about to push himself to the limit. I'm going to try to break my world record at speed cards. I'm going to try to memorise a single pack of cards in sometime faster than 26.28 seconds. You're on to the ready, go. Ben hopes to have memorised the pack in less than 24.68 seconds, but to prove it, he must now arrange a separate pack of cards in the exact same order. OK, your recall time starts now. Ben Pridmore, an unemployed accountant from Derby, is perhaps an unlikely genius. But on today's shopping trip, he set himself a challenge. Ben is going to attempt to remember the 13-digit barcode of every item in his basket. This means memorising the order of 130 digits in just five minutes. Most of us can only remember up to seven new numbers. Time for Ben to see how far he can go. Bacon. Bacon. Five, zero, 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 one, nine, two, zero, one, four, one, eight, seven. Yep, that's right. <laughs> Steak pie. Steak pie, that's uh, five zero 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 one nine two uh two six four three six zero. Yeah, that's right. Ben is the UK memory champion and a world record breaker. I hold a record for memorising the most packs of cards in an hour, 27 packs. And also for binary digits, that's ones and zeros, I hold the record for memorising the most of those in 30 minutes, 4,140 digits. <laughs> Garlic bread? That's five, zero, 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 one, nine, two, zero, four, three, seven, seven, four. Yep, that's right. Really, it's only since discovering this um, hobby of mine that I've, um, well, <laughs> excelled at anything, I suppose. Sweets. Five, zero, one, zero. Three, one, seven. Zero, four, zero. Five, two, six. Yep, that's right. <laughs> How'd you do it? How'd you remember it all? <laughs> I turned the numbers into pictures. Yeah, we share at Lemons here, where a lemon being fed to a Sasquatch, which is wearing a plastic mac, concealing a pack of sausages and a leg. <laughs> How do you remember the numbers by that? <laughs> in practice. People are either completely nonplussed by it or they think it's extremely cool. It's sort of about a 50-50 split. I think it's wicked. That is amazing, yeah. I can't just, I can't even remember me shopping this some days. <laughs> I'm one of the few people who find this kind of thing really fun. While Ariel developed his gift from an early age, others find greatness much later in life. But it doesn't always reap rewards. Ben Pridmore started out on the path to genius in his mid-twenties when he began training himself to memorise decks of cards. I held the record for memorising a pack of cards in the quickest possible time, 26.28 seconds. From just a single glance, Ben is able to recall every number and every suit in the exact order in which he saw them. Ready? Six of spades, queen of hearts, queen of diamonds, eight of spades, ace of hearts, no, ace of diamonds. <laughs> Never mind. Um, queen of clubs. Ben is in training. Five of clubs. In just two days, he is Nine going to hearts. push himself to the limit Eight and attempt diamonds. to smash his own world record. Nine of spades. King of hearts. And three of diamonds. <laughs> <laughs> Ben's genius is not simply in remembering playing cards, but in the elaborate mental process he uses to do it. I have an image in my head of a person or an object for each pair of two cards, which comes to a total of 2,704 possible images. So, for example, this pack of cards starts with the Seven of Spades, King of Spades, which is a pack of seeds growing into um, 
Two of Hearts, Five of Spades, which is Marty Pello, Out of Wet, Wet, Wet. And um, Five of Hearts, King of Clubs, which is Elmer Fudd. OK, maybe preparation time starts now. The key to Ben's memory genius is that he uses a different part of his brain to store new information compared to the rest of us. To remember cards, most of us would use our working memory. But this can only store up to seven new pieces of information, such as a phone number. This information is only held here for a few seconds before it's forgotten. But Ben can link any sequence of numbers and cards with images that he has permanently stored in his long-term memory. This system means that in the UK memory world, he reigns supreme. It's a real community, the memory championship people. We all get on well, we hang out outside competitions, we sit around talking in pubs about our systems, sounding like a terrible bunch of nerds. Well, we are a terrible bunch of nerds, let's be honest about this. <laughs> but being a memory giant hasn't translated into financial success. Two years ago, Ben gave up a career in accountancy to focus on his talent. Now, he's struggling. I am absolutely, completely flat broke at the moment. I've got no money at all. I've got less than no money. I've got loans and things, so I am actually quite desperate to get back to work at the moment. And I'm struggling to find a permanent job in accountancy. People tend to assume I'm a naturally brilliant person, which I deny absolutely. I'm a bit of a thicko, really, in a lot of ways. I just have um, an interesting hobby, possibly because I've got too much time on my hands. A self-trained genius is about to push himself to the limit. I'm going to try to break my world record at speed cards. I'm going to try to memorise a single pack of cards in sometime faster than 26.28 seconds. No, I'm sorry. <laughs> But things aren't going quite to plan for the UK memory champion. Pushing it too much in the middle, I lost track of all the images. Ben has done this before, he's very experienced. His current record is around 26 seconds, and we're very much hoping that he can push it down and give us all a tremendous shock. Ben gets a second chance. Okay, ready to shuffle cards? Thank you very much. You're on to the ready, go. Ben hopes to have memorised the pack in less than 24.68 seconds. But to prove it, he must now arrange a separate pack of cards in the exact same order. OK, your recall time starts now. That's my best guess, anyway. To decide it, the two packs must be compared card for card. I did it, yeah. 24.68 it was in the end, which is just about exactly the kind of time I was hoping for. Oh, that was 
amazing. I mean, my God, he's, he's broken the, you know, the four-minute mile for the break. We started out with a puppy teaching a lesson to a Malvi who was holding a microphone over a necklace owned by uh, Nassim Hamed, who was um, using a pair of tongs to hold up a bag of sherbet, pouring it into a sieve. It's an objective test of how fast it can be done. And in that sense, it's unbelievable. In front of an auctioneer who was selling a um, tentacle which was growing out of um, <laughs> a superhero in a suit of armour who um, was planting a flag in my dad's old garage. Simple as that. Simple as that. In 24 and a half seconds. Click on screen for more videos of extraordinary humans.